Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is crystallization. In this video we will discuss how temperature affects the crystallization. What is supersaturation? So the first question is what is supersaturation? It is the quantity of solute present in a solution in which crystals are growing compared with the quantity of solute that is in equilibrium with the solution. Let's take the example. Consider an equilibrium solution that is solid solute plus liquid solvent. If we disturb this equilibrium either by cooling the solution or evaporating a portion of the solvent then the quantity of solute will exceed the equilibrium concentration. This condition is called supersaturation. And the solution is called supersaturated solution. Now this system will try to attain a new state of equilibrium by expelling or precipitating an excess solute present in it in the form of crystals. This process of forming crystals is called crystallization and the concentration difference driving force is called supersaturation. The supersaturation is expressed as a coefficient as S is equal to parts solute divided by 100 parts solvent at prevailing condition divided by parts solute divided by 100 parts solvent at equilibrium is greater than or equal to 1. So Unless a solution is supersaturated, crystallization cannot take place. That is crystals can neither form nor grow. Without supersaturation condition, the amount of crystals formed however depends upon the difference in saturation concentration. Since once the crystallization begins, the extra solute in the solution due to supersaturation also comes out of the solution in the form of crystals. Now next question. Define nucleation. The generation of a new solid phase. That is generation of new small particles. Either on an inert material in the solution. Or in the solution itself. Is called nucleation. This is the first step of crystal formation. Hence in nucleation. New small particles which can be called as nuclei. Are formed during the crystal formation process. Now next question. Define crystal growth. The increase in size of nuclei. That is new small particles. Which is formed in nucleation step of crystallization. With a layer by layer addition of solute. Is called crystal growth. This is the second step of crystal formation. Now next question. Explain crystal formation. The formation of a crystal from a solution is a two-step process. The first step is called nucleation. That is formation of new small particles or nuclei. And the second one is called crystal growth. That is growth of crystals to macroscopic size. If initially a large number of nuclei is formed, then the yield of the process contains many small or tiny crystals. And if a few nuclei are formed initially at the start, then the yield of the process contains large size crystals. Because the material deposits on a relatively few nuclei. Hence slow cooling results in the formation of a less number of nuclei. And hence large size crystals are formed. Whereas rapid cooling results in the formation of large number of tiny crystals. And hence small size crystals are formed. Now next question. How does the temperature affect the crystal formation process? Supersaturation is the common driving force. For nucleation and crystal growth. Crystals can neither form. Nor grow. Unless a solution is supersaturated, the number of nuclei formed and the rate of growth of crystals depend upon the temperature of operation. 
the number of nuclei and growth rate of crystals increases with increase in temperature up to a certain point and then decreases the temperature corresponding to a maximum number of nuclei formation is different than the temperature at which a growth rate is maximum now next question state various methods of generating supersaturation so supersaturation is the common driving force for nucleation and crystal growth crystals can neither form nor grow unless a solution is supersaturated hence for crystallization to occur supersaturation can be done by any one of the following methods so first method is by cooling a concentrated hot solution through indirect heat exchange next by evaporating a part of the solvent or we can say by evaporating a solution then next method is by adiabatic evaporation and cooling that is by vacuum cooling it is done by flashing a feed solution adiabatically to a lower temperature and causing crystallization by simultaneous cooling and evaporation of the solvent next method is by adding a new substance it is also called a salting in which a third substance is added that reduces the solubility of the original solute last method is by chemical reaction with a third substance so that's all about questions of crystallization in the next video we will discuss another set of question if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is chemical edda